Support City today, stumping for U.S. Senate candidate Tom Tillis. But the men didn't get a very warm welcome when they arrived at a campaign event. WECT's Justin Smith has new reaction from Tillis tonight. Justin? Well, Fran, if you're running for office, you want to control the message. But today, Tillis was put on the defensive because demonstrators were waiting when he and New Jersey Governor Chris Christie arrived at the Dixie Grill downtown. Many of these people work in movies and TV and claim Tillis, as Speaker of the House, is partly to blame for the current film incentives going away. Christie, who's considering a presidential run in 2016, seemed to take the demonstration in stride. He, of course, is no stranger to protests. In fact, he says when protesters show up, it means a politician is getting things done and making tough decisions. Tillis supported extending the current film incentives for another year, but the measure didn't get through the Senate. Today, as protesters chanted outside, Tillis defended his record. I've been working to try and help this industry. It's important, and hopefully we can convince the Senate to come back and, and, uh, and make progress on it next year. But I, my record's very clear on supporting this industry, and we, we want to do more, and I think we will. So Tillis hoping state lawmakers will do more on incentives next year when he hopes to be in Washington as a U.S. Senator. But his chances seem to be shrinking in light of two recent polls that show Hagan in the lead. Should Tillis change his strategy? You'll hear his answer ahead at 6. For now, reporting live, Justin Smith, WECT News.